Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing well and you had a nice summer and you are doing well with your aquaculture projects and you are learning a lot on aquaculture tribe related to the fish feed and how you can produce the fish feed in more sustainable way. So we have some updates for you on this uh, YouTube channel Aquaculture Tribe. We have seen that many of you are sending the emails related to using certain ingredients from your local uh, uh, ingredients which you have available. Uh, for example, some people are talking about uh, the different type of byproducts from the animal protein and some people are talking about different byproducts from the plant protein. Well, if you understand, if you have been watching uh, the videos and listening posts of this channel, you understand that we really highly recommend you to use the local ingredients because they are really important, especially in this time. Because, as you know, the because of inflation, the when you buy the food, uh, now the feed from the outside countries and overall um, the the crisis we have in this supply chain of uh, fish feed ingredients that is really alarming and the imported feed prices are now of course going to be skyrocketed and it's this trend is going to continue so in this type of scenario the best for you is to produce your own feed and and to do that you need to understand of course a lot of things first of all that you uh, need to have proper understanding where uh, all the ingredients are coming from in your local market. Uh, what are those ingredients? Uh, which fish species, of course, you are working with? Uh, it could be very easy for carp and tilapia or shrimps, for example, but it may not be that easy if you are producing trout or salmon, for example. So you have to understand these points quite well while you are doing this. And uh, definitely you have to compromise on the quality of the pellets. Uh, if you are producing by yourself in smaller scale, of course, the quality of those pellets would not be the same as commercial feed. But still, you have to try, you have to improve. And that's where, I mean, aquaculture tribe is all about. It's all about uh, to help you in this journey where you can produce your own fish feed in a more sustainable way with your local ingredients, with your convenience. And the prices advantage you can get because sometimes you can get like very cheap ingredient locally uh, with, and then you can change the recipe or the formulation based on that. So whenever you want to do that, please shoot an email, send the ingredients uh, list where uh, which are the ingredients you want to use in the, that fish feed. And as always, uh, we are here to help. Uh, it has been so nice. Uh, like so far, I think we have uh, helped over uh, 200 people in this regard to produce their own fish feed. And we have created several recipes for different fish species. And this is really good, uh, uh, I think, service also towards the uh, overall goal of sustainability, that if we really want to produce these uh, local feeds, um, if we can really reduce this uh, carbon footprint because of this transportation of the fish feed and the ingredients when we buy from outside, uh, from international market. So there are so many aspects which could be improved. And this is one of the way to improve that. But of course, there will be challenges. There will be challenges related to premix. There will be challenges related to uh, uh, balance the diet in terms of uh, amino acids, uh, the protein content sometimes. And so, but, but we can work through that. And, uh, and another thing I wanted to tell you is that please uh, not just subscribe the channel. Now you can also join this channel. So we have different levels where you can join this channel and you can uh, become part of this uh, channel community at a more re and you can actually get in touch with me uh, you can call me on my whatsapp number you can uh, ask your questions you can of course uh, ask about the fish feed formulation and other uh, related issues you are having but uh, thank you for listening and uh, let's stay in touch and uh, keep doing the great work thank you